This is the third in a series of film reports on the progress of the Vought Killer Ryan XC-142A Tri-Service V-Stall Transport Aeroplane. By June of 1963, the basic design of the XC-142A was completed and approved. Emphasis on the program has since shifted to testing and hardware fabrication. All planned wind tunnel testing at LTV has been completed during the past six months. Research to determine flutter characteristics and rate of descent performance indicated satisfactory flutter margins and that the existing wing slat is near optimum position, giving the airplane a rate of descent capability of at least 800 feet per minute. Running concurrently with wind tunnel studies at LTV were ground effect studies held at the Princeton Laboratories. Tested in and out of ground effects, a moving model showed satisfactory results. Directional stability tests conducted at Langley Research Center revealed in preliminary findings that directional stability characteristics were also satisfactory. At the Hiller Aircraft Company, work progresses on the dynamic components of the XC-142A. Lubrication improvements have been made as a result of tests run on this tri-directional gear case back-to-back -back stand. Windows in the housing permit observation of the lubricant flow patterns. The studies led to development of baffles within the gear case, which improved lubrication and heat rejection of gears and bearings. In other areas of testing, a gear pattern is developed for checking the relationship between the clutch and pivot gear case spiral bevel gears. The tilting mechanism of the pivot gear case back-to-back -back stand is checked out simulating the wing first in a horizontal position, passing through 30 degrees, then 60 degrees, and finally stopping at 96 degrees. Lubrication and scavenging is checked in each position. At the Moffett Field Naval Air Station, Hiller is readying the propulsion test stand for dynamic testing of the complete propulsion system. At the propulsion integrated test stand, installation of components continues for the fuel, hydraulic, electrical, and control systems. At Hamilton Standard, responsible with Hiller Aircraft for the XC-142A dynamic system, engineering design and development of the main and tail propellers is underway. Build-up of the Hiller right-hand propulsion integrated test stand gear case takes place prior to balancing. Here at Hamilton Standard's outdoor test facilities, the XC-142A T-64 engine and main gear case undergo preliminary testing. The main propeller box, shown starting and running in horizontal position, has accumulated more than 40 hours of operation under various simulated flight conditions. The main stand simulates the tilt wing operation by making the full transition from horizontal to vertical position. Upon successful completion of these tests, the systems were delivered to LTV in January. The first aft section of the XC-142A was completed at Ryan Aircraft during this reporting period 
and shipped to LTV, where it joined other major structures in final assembly. Within the same time period, the first two empennages were fabricated. Both underwent operational checkouts of the ramp, cargo doors, and vertical and horizontal stabilizers prior to shipment. Another major effort at Ryan was the completion and shipment of the number one wing. Tangible evidence of the program's advance became apparent as the XC-142A began to take LTV assembly line. First aft and empennage sections, wing and engine nacelles were received from Ryan and joined in final assembly. The number one airplane progressed through all major assembly fixtures. By the end of January, the fuselage entered final assembly for installation and mock-up of major components. Detailed parts for airplanes number one and two were 99% completed, with airplanes three, four, and five being 70% completed by the end of December. As the five production airplanes began their buildup, Fabrication of the static test article was completed and placed in the test rig. Static testing got underway in January. The flight control simulator was completed late in December. Shakedown of the various systems initiated early in November is continuing. Collective system and throttle system checkout was completed and closed loop testing started. Complete simulator aerosystem tests are scheduled to begin in March. The first T-64 engine from General Electric was received and installed in the engine test stand. Some difficulties were experienced in completing the test setup and attaining initial test runs, but operation of the complete unit was satisfactory at the close of this reporting period. To date, the XC-142A detailed design program has been completed. Overall engineering is 77% complete, Tooling is 97% complete, and manufacturing is 62% complete. With the number one airplane almost assembled, the maiden flight of the XC-142A is scheduled for July of 64, providing the United States three military services with their first operational V-Stall transport aircraft.